if you start thinking about a problem and you're, you're running up against the wall, uh, sometimes there's a breakthrough. And I had this breakthrough. One morning I woke up and I cried, Eureka, uh, I found it. I found the solution. And the solution to, 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 to what is planning uh, turned out to be what, it, what I would call the social learning model of planning. It's a social practice oriented towards the future, towards enhancing livability and sustainability for the many, not just the few. Sometimes the opportunity for that is so narrow that it's very hard to do anything, but there's always a chance. Sometimes it's very big, and I've always had this conception, sometimes you come against an absolute brick wall and you can't move. Look sideways and find the littlest crack and find a way of enlarging the crack. Planners have to think critically about possibility. Planners are the ones who, by profession, have to try to look into the future, to look at problems of so social and political and physical betterment, and say, this is possible even, where, even while he says, no, 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 that's not possible. And these people say, no, 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 that's not possible. You can never do that. All swans are white. There is no black swan. We tried through a new kind of course as we saw it to help students get technical jobs. To we, we, they had to have the skills to work in practice. That was beyond question. But we wanted something else. We wanted them to be able to also be critical of that practice and to engage with emergent fields such as community development and so on. The first really big idea was that, okay, these abstract things, we needed to communicate them really to other people. We needed to communicate them not only to uh, stakeholders and planners and people like that, we needed to communicate them to other scientists for that matter. So visualization was really the dominant. All these different environments sharpened my understanding that places matter. And over the last five, 50 years, I have learned more from seeing and exploring places than from academic books. More from living and working in and reading about places as well as from persons who identified with those places. Planning is a very, very complex business and fixed plans do not work. You a strategy and, and wriggle your way through from step to step. And if you do this with the people you are planning for. The first thing, I think, is simply to have a discussion with them. A complex system can only be understood holistically, not piecemeal. Uh, hanging on to the assumptions of machine-like cause and effect is, in my view, one reason for planners' colossal mistakes. I would say the job of current and future planners is to work with this nonlinear, uncertain reality and find ways to improve the performance of cities as systems. So maybe the EU is just a collection of member states. But at the same time, there's much mutual learning taking place. And in this happens in planning as well as in European integration generally. And learning changes perceptions. Perceptions of where people stand and what is in their country's best interest. I think planning uh, should be comprehensive. Uh, in the public interest sense, that this idea of public service, of a public comprehensive approach, is not an old discredited idea. I think it got discredited because it was associated with uh, the desire for power. In fact, that whoever has true power is able to determine the content of concepts and words. With regard to crucial political and by extension planning concepts, it depends on who interprets, who defines and who uses them, who concretely defines what spatial quality, what equity, what accountability, what sustainability, what legitimacy is. Of course, and this is an interesting for me now looking back, everybody struggled for a society for a better life, everybody. Uh, sorry to say, the Nazis did also use the same term. We have, want to have a better life. When there is not enough trust in government, then uh, the law and the legal recourse uh, tends to be very discriminatory and used by the rich. The proof of the pudding, as they say, is in the eating. 
motor cars have become better, cameras have become better, have our living conditions become better? Because of the lessons we have learned about how to make spatial planning more effective. It might seem a stupid question, but it's not a stupid question, I insist. It needs for planning to recognize its own limitations, which is a hard thing to ask because we all benefit the more important planning is, the more important we are. Uh, but that's not the test of good planning. The test of good planning is what it succeeds in doing